Hi, welcome to Raw Lauren. I am going to do a kind of a makeup favorites. Um, okay. What I put on and stuff, um, uh, let me just say like probably about 95% of the time I don't put any makeup on at all. This makeup brain. Uh, right now, I don't have any acne. I don't have um, any breakouts, any problems right now. Definitely testing to a vegan diet. Definitely helping with that. And I used to pick a skin at uh, Derma Telemania, uh, I believe. And I would have a lot. I mean, if I have had acne, I'd pick at it. So, yes, I have, you know, some scars. They're definitely later now than they used to be, but uh, my but this quality camera is very good. But mm, it's just. Like, yeah, it could be a little bit of acne, but uh, so right now I don't cover anything up like I used to. <laughs> Use concealer, and CC cream, or some kind of foundation, powder, anything to cover up anything I have in the face. I didn't really cover it up. I actually drew attention to it. So eating good helped, you know, not have any more acne show up and using some oils to help clear things up, I think have been a big help and then just, I just feel more at peace and not like wanting to pick. So that's so helpful. And if you do uh, skin pick, um, it's okay. It's definitely, you know, lots of other people out there do the same. So uh, it's hard, I know. Um, and I would pick other places in my body. Um, my arm. See so all, all that. So, it's a little scar. So, this one isn't as bad. But, you know, some different ones in my arm things. But, um, it's like an OCD tendency. You know, if you have skin that's rough, and, you know, I mean, men, you know, acne, you want to pick, right? So, now, I don't have any problems with that right now, so I'm very, very, very happy. Um, so, I basically don't put any makeup on, especially when I'm at home, nothing, not that if I go out to the you know, store, you know, I very, very, very rarely put on any makeup, only for maybe a special event or something. Or if I just want to test something out, if I do buy something, you know, I do it. So, my technique is not the best, let's just say that. Um, but, you know, I don't wear too much, so it's not, like, overwhelming. So, on to what I like, and... I'm going to say that not all of this is cruelty, cruelty free, but most of it is. Um, I do have a concealer stick. Um, anyway, let me say the only thing I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. Um, is 
is a Maybelline can't even see the words on it but it's um, a brow pencil it's very light and that's kind of the way I like it I don't like I never had <laughs> very bold or dark brows so I'm not used to that like bold look um, I have a um, brow kit, but the brown in it is just way, way too dark even. Um, I really don't like to use it much, but. So the Maybelline brow pencil is the only thing I don't know if it's called it or not. It's Maybelline, so yeah, I don't know. But I have it, I may use it till it's gone, and then I gotta find another one. Because I like the brow pencils. Um, I like just the detail I can do with it versus the brush and putting in powder. You know, I like pencils. So if you know a good cruelty free and vegan um, eyebrow pencil, let me know. I really want to find a good one that will be like the first piece of makeup true vegan makeup I do want to purchase so um, I do have uh, mostly you know, all wet and mild products which they do not test on animals that is awesome anyway mm, yeah let me see what I'm not sure if you can see it Down here, not to sell animals. So, yeah, um, it's also selling on animals, but is a vegan? Probably not. But at least it's not to sell animals. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, this is first product this is Wet and Loud cover stick. Um, and it's, um, it's in light, so I'm just going, like, I was noticing that scar up here, and this little bugger, and basically I just use my finger and work it in. That's it. Um, I come sometimes put it on your eye if you have really dark um, eye, under eye. I don't look like that dark. I've had a lot darker, so that's it. You know, I don't go crazy. Um, just a little bit here and there. And this time, I don't even put this on, but, you know, if I am going to go out, I might put this on, I might put a little foundation on, it just depends, but, another thing is just, um, I seem a lot more confident in my body and my skin, uh, so it's like, it doesn't really matter to me whether I have makeup on or not, right, so, It's great. <laughs> oh, next would be the Maybelline brow pencil. And I have also for brows the Wet n Loud Ultimate Brow King.
Uh, this. This comes with tweezers and a little brush, and then I'll pluck out pomade um, in two colors. So, I'm going to do, I don't usually pluck anything. Um, I'm going to do one brow uh, with the brow kit and the other brow with the pencil, you can just see the difference. Um, so, it's gonna take a little bit of the powder. Should have made that more rounded and not a square, but you know. You do what you gotta do. <laughs> I said I, I'm not an expert at makeup. Um, my technique is not that great. There you go. One side. Wet and loud. Brow kit. Next side will be the Maybelline brow pencil. And this one I use like little little strokes. To put out just look a little more natural. Okay, can you see the difference? I didn't put any pomade on this, but it's just much, I think, darker. I think it's darker. And it's just like one almost smooth like look. On this side, I mean, I can make it darker in spots by going in a bit more. I think it's lighter and it just looks a little more natural. That's why I go with a pencil. I can actually have something that I like to go out with with that versus this. Oh, now it looks weird. <laughs> okay. Next up is um could have been the second step, but anyway. I went on to the house too quick. Um, Wet and Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. 
when I go when I go real fancy right now. Um, I don't use it much, but especially I don't use the contour side. This is contour side. Oh man. You know, I was gonna do a swatch, but um, let me do a little swatch of the brow just to see it absolutely side by side. powder and now the and of course I can get small lines, right? But I think the first time I put this on, I probably went a little too heavy handed. Now it actually looks pretty close and actually this one looks darker especially if I'm going over it but I still like the natural look of that so anyway let me do a let me show you the highlight side contour side so I'm going to do a swatch of that contour And highlight. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't know much about contouring or highlighting, but I don't use contour side much. I do like the highlight just um some just on like straight line down your nose, it's just, hmm, you know, it's where the light, you know, my hair a little bit right under the brow. Maybe we'll hear. Yeah, you don't have to. It's probably clear. Um, uh, sometimes I like it just a little bit here. Right here. That's about it. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, a little bit. 
on the inside of the eyes. The pupil out the tail. Just like make your eyes a little bit bigger, brighter. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that side. The wrong tab on the wrong thing. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, next is going to be eyes. So I have Wet and Wild, The Naked Truth palette. It has them back here kind of where you put it. So, number one is the base. Which goes all over the brow. Number two goes on the brow bone. And number three is just the eyelid. Number four is the crease. And five it's the finer. So it says it shows it on here. The base. Dark one definer. <laughs> Crease and rubber. It kind of runs off, so I have to see if I can. I do like what Ma has these little like special things for some eyes, so that is kinda nice. And then I didn't show you on the brow tip. A really cool feature is this slide out mirror, isn't that cool? Hmm. You just take a little lime of the crease.
I try to do it as light as possible. And then blend. Wait for the brow bound. Now I have a highlighter there, but it just provides a little color. And then the eyelid. Here you go. Nice little brown nude look. It's pretty good for everything. Uh, you know, I don't get too loud, so it's just a nice look for whenever. Um, lastly, lips. I have this Wet n Wild. Mega 6 Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. So it's like a stain for your lips and keeps it like a little bit on there a little bit longer, possibly. But I like it. I like it. It's a big chunky pencil. I like it. So. That's it, really. Oh, it's light here a little bit. Make it bad. <laughs> so that is it. That's my makeup favorites and look and one to swatch again. Oh the lip color. There it is. I love it. It's I didn't tell you the color, did I? It is Rico Moab. Moave, Moab, Rico Mo, Moave. Also, can't tell. My hair's cut. I cut it myself. Yep. 
I love having it short because it's not. Wow, this is all like really a lot. <laughs> and it's not even as much as like a lot of people do. If I had, um, I had a bag of makeup. <laughs> my eyelashes but this is Maybelline also great lash but I don't use it okay. I should just use it and use it that bright but you know I don't know what to do I did buy glad buy like cruelty free products to wet my eyes so I'm like, okay, well, at least I have some things. But are they everything you need? I, I have Physicians Formula CC powder. I might have a cream somewhere. <laughs> I have Physicians Formula uh, concealer, which probably aloe. Anyway. Burt's Bees, um, Lip Crayon, Carolina, because I love this color, but I don't know about Burt's Bees. I have The Real. I got this as a sample from Sephora. It's kind of like a brownish color. But, you know. I don't use it. I don't use makeup that much, and I don't go all out. I have Revlon blush palette. I don't use blush. I have a Revlon tense brush. Not brush. Uh, tense eyeliner. Light and dark. And I don't use it. Can't lie my eyes. I just cannot get that close to my eyelids. Sorry. But it will never ever happen. I tried just like a softer like brush. And not like a crayon. Like a pencil like that was. But I had to take it back. Because it's like um, I cannot use this. Sorry. And I have. I just got this. Uh, I guess, did I get it? No, store, I guess. Um, a Rimmel Lemon Primer. And I do like using primer. Like, I definitely see using the primer and then using the CC cream concealer and CC. I like it, but I don't use it that much anyway. Just kind of real put any foundation or anything on anyway. Nevertheless. Let me know. Yeah, this is my whole makeup case. Uh, let me know of any great vegan um, makeup products that you like. That's fairly cheap. Or if it's more expensive, is it really, really good? You know, like if it's quality, then I might like invest in one or two things um, in Sephora or something. I would be like be a thing there and although my birthday is not for it's a whole nother year um I can get you know some great products when I put an order in then but you know if I'm gonna purchase something I'll do it I like Kat Von D's products, but I just think maybe it's a little too intense, you know. <laughs> this is intense, well, yeah, hers must be intense, right? So, but I like her, and I like 
she's vegan and she outwardly says she's vegan and has vegan products so but I need some good vegan products I need a good brow pencil for sure mm. And the shadows I can do a pen I can do a, a lip stain. Maybe maybe a little lipstick, but a light like a very like even this is dark for me. So uh, just leave in the comments below what you think. This is probably so long. Like forty five minutes or something. Just talk and talk and talk and I can't stop. <laughs> okay. Well, see you later.